Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my Four Star Academy YouTube channel. And in this lesson, we will continue、uh, talking about those basic layout widgets. So in today, and、uh, we will be cover the stack widget, align widget, and position widget. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel,、uh, please hit that subscribe button and、uh, turn on the notification. And also, if you like my video, please thumbs up my video. I will be really appreciate. So without further ado, let's get start. Let's go back to、uh, Visual Studio Code. And here、uh, I have already、uh, set up my emulator. So and also I have uh, uh, wrote down some basic like a、uh, demo code, so、uh, I can give you more explanation. So here you can see I have this material app as my root widget, and inside this material app I was using this scaffold,、uh, which you can see this is this. The whiteboard, and also inside this scaffold, I use the safe area widget. So safe area widget、uh, basically means、uh, I will start to lay out my Flutter UIs、uh, under this toolbar. And also I use this center widget, which to uh, center uh, uh, both horizontal and vertical uh, in these uh, inside this、uh, safe area. So here I just I using uh I using this a、uh, stack widget and in stack widget we need to、uh, pass it is children attribute、uh, so when go back to this my map so inside this stack、uh, there two attribute is most common use first one you need to fill out each uh it is children and then you need to specify how those、uh, children. Uh, align in in this stack widget, so you can see here, and I wrote this a、uh, a red container, so and then I read、uh, I wrote this a、uh, green container and blue container, so as you can see, the first one will be lie、uh, on the bo on the bottom right, and then the middle one is the green one, and then is this blue one. So if I trying to change this, uh, if I switch right, if I just、uh, copy and paste in here, so you will see the red one will be on the top, and also is the the biggest one. So you will hide those to a container. So let me recover my code. So as you can use the stack widget, if we if we need to、uh, make some complex UI, and we can trying to、uh, make those container bigger, and、uh, we want to test this alignment attribute, right? So we trying、uh, we just、uh, delete the middle one. Uh, we delete the middle one and make、uh, the container bigger, probably three hundred, and the middle one will be、uh, another one will be one hundred, and I save it. And here I want to、uh, show how you can use it is align attribute, right? So by default you can when you move your mouse to this alignment, so he require this class, right? So as you see. If any class end with this ge、uh, geometry, so it means it's an abstract class. So you will probably use this one, this con、uh, child class, and you can use probably center. So when you save it, you will see this、uh, blue box will be aligned, aligned in the center of this、uh, red container, right? So those two will be aligned in the center. You can also try that bottom left, and you save your line bottom left, right? So you basically you can try all of those, uh, top left, to,、uh, top right, top center, and also center, and center left, center right, bottom, bottom left, bottom right, bottom center. Okay, and also you can use uh, it is another uh constructor. Right, so by default you're using uh it is static attribute, right? 
So we could probably use another uh, one uh, using it is constructor. So you move your mouse, it actually requires these two uh, values, the x and y. So what x and y means? So x, y means if you say x, y, x is the uh, horizontal, main x is, is horizontal. So if you set to 1, you will be uh, in the uh, right, and you set minus 1 will be the uh, left, and y axis will be, you set 1 will be the bottom, and you set minus 1 will be top. So let's go back to which is theoretical and let me show mystery how you can use. So as you see, if I set to 1, 1, and 1, 1 will be right bottom, right? So and I save it, will be right bottom. Yeah, you see it will be right bottom. And if I set 0, 0, 0, 0 will be in the middle, right? And also we could say, uh, if I want the bottom left, I can say uh, minus, uh, minus 1 and 1. Uh, minus 1 and 1. And I save it. You see, I at least a blue box going to the bottom left. Okay, so next we're going to talk this align a widget and also position widget. So probably those two widgets will be uh, work along with this stack widget. And I will show you why you need to use those two instead of only using this stack widget. So there is a situation. So uh, for example, you have uh, another container and we'll probably I give it one and 150 and we give it a green color and when I save you will see okay probably I move this uh, blue box down so you could see more clear right so you see these three boxes and when I uh, using align center so you see I will align all of those elements into the center right so I align like a button right and I save all the box will be aligned in the bottom right but I want this uh, green box to be a top left and uh, this blue box uh, it will be this bottom right so how can I achieve this so in order to achieve this uh, you need to uh, using this align widget along with this stack widget and also uh, another way would be you can use this position widget with this stack widget okay let's go back to visual studio code and here uh, I will do some minor change so in this I will probably uh, remove these I will probably wrap this contain uh wrap this stack widget with the container and inside the container I will probably replace here and also remove this container and uh, when I save yes yeah, uh, I will trying to align those different different one right so I so in our example, I, I we want to this uh, green box to be uh, top to left, right? So we probably using uh, wrap this container widget with align widget, and in here we will probably assign uh, uh, it is alignment with uh, this uh, alignment. I think it's alignment uh, top to alignment top to this alignment alignment. Uh, top left and we have a comma and we save it and you see we achieve this right you see this green uh, box will be uh, in the top left and we can also do uh, this one uh, probably we need to uh, align uh, align this blue box to the top the right so we can also use a uh, wrap this container with this align and using the same attribute but specify to top right and we save it you will achieve this one and also we could probably uh, create another one 
and probably give a smaller smaller size and will be yellow yellow and also be center and you will see we have this one so we can create a different uh, complex UI based on this alignment and however so there is another widget called position right so what's the difference between position and alignment so in the position you can uh, specify uh, these uh, top left bottom right attribute so let's go to the code so you can see what those attribute means so here uh, I'll probably using this one I, I would like to change it to position and inside this position which we don't have this alignment attribute so instead we have uh, probably like a uh, left with left attribute so we can set zero and we can set top also zero so when I save you will see this uh, yellow box is aligned in the top the left right and also if we change to right zero it will align in the top the right so now you know what these attribute means okay so i think uh, that's uh, all for today's video and i hope you have a clear understand how to use this stack widget uh, along with this align widget and also this uh, position widget and thanks for watching so if you haven't subscribed to my channel feel free to keep hit that subscribe button and also uh, thumbs up my content so i will be really appreciate i will continue upload those uh, awesome flutter tutorial so i will see you in next video